Welcome back to NPA Teaching. In the last video, we discussed the concept of consumer surplus as an application of definite integral. Now we are focusing on the producer surplus. Producer surplus is a measure of the welfare that producer gain from selling goods and services at market price. It is defined as the difference between the amount the producer is willing to supply goods for and the actual amount received by him when he make the transaction. As we said that the demand curve is downwardly sloping and the supply curve is upwardly sloping. The point where the demand and supply curves intersect each other is called equilibrium point. And E is the equilibrium point and P1 is the market determined price and Q1 is the market determined quantity. The amount of extra money that end up in the producer's pocket is area between supply curve and the horizontal line that is price line that is area above the supply curve and the below equilibrium price. That is this shaded area is known as producer surplus. In this diagram, OQ1 EP1 represents the area of entire rectangle under the price line and OQ1 EPM represent the area under supply curve. Therefore, the producer surplus is equal to OQ1 EP1 minus OQ1 EPM which is PEQ1. The producer is always try to increase his producer surplus by trying to sell more and more at higher prices. However, it is simply not possible to increase the producer surplus indefinitely since at higher price there might very little or no demand for goods and services. If the supply function is given which is represented by different prices that producers are willing to sell different quantities of goods and services and with given equilibrium price and quantity, producer surplus can be mathematically calculated by Q0 into P0 minus integral from 0 to Q0 F of Q DQ. Here, the Q0 is the equilibrium quantity and P0 is the equilibrium price. And F of Q is the supply function as against the demand function in the consumer surplus. Let us consider a numerical example. We want to find out the producer surplus at Q0 is equal to 4. That means equilibrium quantity is equal to 4 with given the supply function P is equal to Q plus 2. So for finding the producer surplus, firstly we want to get the equilibrium price and quantity. So here Q0 that means equilibrium quantity is equal to 4 substituting the value of Q0, Q0 is equal to 4 on the supply function then it will become Q plus 2 that is 4 plus 2 which is equal to 6. After getting equilibrium price and quantity which is equal to 6 and 4 respectively the next step is to substitute these values and supply function on the formula for calculating the producer surplus. The producer surplus is equal to Q0 into P0 minus the integral from 0 to Q0 F of Q DQ. So by substituting these values, the producer surplus is equal to P0 into Q0 that is 4 into 6 minus integral from 0 to 4 the F of Q which is the supply function that is Q plus 2 DQ. Therefore, the producer surplus is equal to 6, 4 into 6 which is equal to 24 minus the integral of Q plus 2 which is equal to 1 by 2 Q square plus 2 Q which is evaluated at the upper limit of 4 and the lower limit of 0. Therefore, the producer surplus is equal to 24 minus substituting the value of Q is equal to 4 then it will become 1 by 2 into Q square that is 4 square which is 16 plus 2 into Q that is 2 into 4 minus substituting the lower value we will get the 0. So the, the producer surplus is equal to by solving this equation it will become 24 minus 8 minus 8 minus 0 which is equal to 24 minus 16 which is 8. So here the producer surplus is equal to 8. Consider another numerical example. In this example the demand function and supply functions are given. 
So the demand function PD is equal to 25 minus Q square and the supply function PS is equal to 2Q plus 1. And we are assuming the perfect competition market is prevailed here and we want to find out the producer surplus. For finding the producer surplus, the first step is to find the equilibrium price and quantity. Here the equilibrium price and quantities are not given. So, but the market situation is perfect competition. So here by assuming perfect competition is the market situation prevail in the market in which the equilibrium price and quantities are determined when demand is equal to supply. That is PD is equal to PS. That means here the demand function that is PD is equal to 25 minus Q square is equal to the supply function that is PS which is 2Q plus 1. By taking the all the terms into the left hand side of the equation and equating with the 0 then it will become 25 minus Q square minus 2Q minus 1 is equal to 0. So by solving this it will become Q square plus 2Q minus 24 is equal to 0. By using the factorization method of solving this given quadratic equation, we will get q plus, 1, q plus 6 into q minus 4 is equal to 0. Therefore, q is equal to minus 6 and 4. Since the value of q is equal to minus 6, which is not considered as it is shown the negative quantity, we are considering q is equal to 4. Since the equilibrium quantity that is q0 is equal to 4, substituting the value of q0 is equal to 4 on the demand or the supply function. Let us assuming that we are substituting on the demand function then it will become 25 minus q square that is 4 square which is equal to 25 minus 16 which is 9. Therefore the equilibrium quantity is equal to 4 and the equilibrium price is equal to 9. After getting the equilibrium price and quantity which is equal to 9 and 4 respectively the next step is to substitute these values and supply function on the formula for calculating the producer surplus. So here the producer surplus is equal to Q0 into P0 minus the integral from 0 to Q0 F of Q DQ. So the producer surplus is equal to Q0 into P0 that is 4 into 9 minus the integral from 0 to Q0 that is 4 into the supply function that is 2Q plus 1 DQ. So the producer surplus is equal to 4 into 9 which is equal to 36 minus the integral of the supply function that is 2q plus 1 which is equal to q square plus q which is evaluated at the upper limit of 4 and the lower limit of 0. By substituting the value of q is equal to 4 then the producer surplus will become 36 minus q square that is 4 square 16 minus 4 minus 0 which is equal to 16. Therefore, the producer surplus in this case is equal to 16. I hope you are clear about the concept of producer surplus and how the producer surplus is to be calculated. Have a nice day and see you in the next video. Thank you.